I know this seems like a weird thing to say after spending nearly 11 years making fun of it for a living, but if it wasn't for all those Christian assholes treating it like the divinely inspired word of God, the Bible would be awesome. Now, to be clear, it's not a good book, right? It's it's definitely not the good book, but it's also just a bad book. It's boring and repetitive and contradictory and racist and sexist, and at times it's incomprehensible. The heroes are evil. The morals are ghastly. The genocides are glorified, right? There are at least 11 years of weekly episodes worth of bad things to say about it. And in terms of books to base your morals on, it would be hard to do any worse. But there are still several ways it could be really useful. I I guess several is a bit of an exaggeration, but there are at least two. The first is, of course, as a historical document. Right? I, I'm a fucking history buff. I get shit for being interested in the Etruscans, which, if you think about it, is the before it was cool version of thinking about the Roman Empire a lot. Now, in truth, the Etruscan thing is just something Tom started when I had the audacity to bring them up, you know, on one whole citation needed episode in a row. In truth, my first historical love was the Near East. So, you know, as a dude who's been fascinated by Near Eastern history since my adolescence, the Bible is a fucking treasure trove, right? Because not only can you glean a lot of genuine history from it, but it gives you an unrivaled window into how people thought thousands of years ago. Think about what an incredible book it is from that perspective, right? Because it gives us a broad view of the culture at the time. Now, the Old Testament was written over a period of nearly 700 years with elements of it dating centuries further back than that. So to say of its time is misleading. But if you're trying to get your head around like how ancient people thought, that makes it all the cooler as a historical source. Not only do we get to see their philosophy, but we get to see how it evolved over time. And the breadth of the perspective allows us to get a sense of much more than that, right? We we get to know about their mathematics, their sexual taboos, their judicial philosophy, their mythology, their prejudices, their fears. What's more, because these books have been painstakingly copied over by so many different groups over such a long period of time, we can, much of the time, reverse engineer the errors, omissions, and edits that the scribes made along the way. So we can get ever closer to what that really meant. And not only does that help us get a truer picture of the original wording, but it also tells us a lot about the prejudice, fears, and taboos, et cetera, of the people who made those omissions and edits, right? So it's invaluable as a source for history and for historiography. Of course, the Bible is useful as a historical text to precisely the same degree that we can collectively admit that it's not a divinely inspired, infallible record of true events and abiding morality. Right, Because the actual history described in the Bible is laughably incorrect and the morality is very unlaughably incorrect. Plus, the philosophy and shit changes dramatically over the course of the book. So pretending that it's all sending one singular message from one ultimate source necessarily blinds you to almost all the worthwhile shit that you could gain from the thing. But that's not the only advantage that biblical literalism robs us of. And this is one way that's easy to underestimate, but the Bible could also be really useful as it's like a, a corpus of familiar texts that could bind us together culturally. And look, I get that's a weird thing to say from a dude whose whole job is trying to pry the fucking Bible out of our shared culture, but that's only because it's religious. If it wasn't for that, it could actually be a source of social unity instead of the exact opposite of that. I mean, think about how many familiar references rise from the Bible that we all know. If I talk about a good Samaritan or I say he was the David to their Goliath or I reference the plank in someone's eyes, that's a great social shortcut to understanding as long as it's not infused with a bunch of religious connotations. And beyond those specific references from a storytelling perspective, it's awesome to have a stable of familiar characters. And that's why we still spend so much time on Greek and Norse mythology. That's why comic book movies work so well. Right? We already know who Batman and Spider-Man are. We already know how they're supposed to act. Their familiarity is a cultural touchstone that can launch you into a story. But you can't exactly have Moses or Jesus show up in the middle of an action movie, which sucks because I can imagine Moses doing some awesome rod shit, right? And then turning it into a snake. And, and Jesus can wield a sword with his fucking mouth, so that's cool. But no, we're cheated out of all the truly incredible scenes that we could have had of Moses raining down frogs to slow down Thanos while Elisha rode in on an army of bears because of fucking religion. And, and this matters for more than just Act 3 final battles. 
It's healthy for a society to have certain shared mythologies. For a long time, America got by on national mythologies. But since those were crafted specifically at the expense of certain races and genders, they, you know, their universality has collapsed at the very least. And because the Christians can't even let an atheist enjoy Christmas without saying they've declared fucking war on it, we can't exactly turn to these familiar myths to fill the void. And look, yes, Christianity has destroyed a lot of way more important shit. They've destroyed families and marriages and whole classes of human rights. Hell, they've destroyed whole empires in the past. So it may seem like a small thing to emphasize the fact that they've also destroyed the utility of the Bible, but it's worth reflecting on the fact that their faith is so destructive, it can even ruin the things they revere the most.